recently had a unique experience that I shared on my Instagram story, and I decided to share those posts here on YouTube. I hope you enjoy these clips of my first float experience. Good morning, InstaFam. It's your girl, Kill Chemist, and I know I'm never over here on Instagram stories, but I decided today that I wanted to share what I'm about to do on Instagram stories instead of Snapchat. So I definitely want to shout out my girl, Glamazzini, because she's the one who inspired me to try this, what I'm about to go do, because um, she attempted it herself or tried it a couple days ago, and it sounded really interesting. So I decided I wanted to try. So I'm on my way to a facility called Float RI here in Rhode Island, and they basically have two float chambers, pods, tanks, whatever you want to call it, um, whereby you are allowed to go into like complete isolation so as I was saying, complete isolation and you're in a tank, it's filled with water that is immersed or saturated with Epsom salt. So it, it's a super buoyant solution. So you stay afloat and yeah, you're able to stay afloat in this water in complete isolation with um, pretty much no like visual stimulation, sound. I mean, you can have music if you want, but no sound, no lights, no nothing. And you just float. The temperature of the water is the exact temperature of your skin. So you get this sense of like floating weightlessness um, with no stimuli. Just kind of is an opportunity to get away from, like I was saying, it's a way to get away from just like all of the external stresses, just to kind of decompress and really be alone with oneself and one's thoughts. Some people say it's very meditative. Um, go in kind of relax chill get out of my head I'm an overthinker I'm always thinking about the next thing I need to do it'll be nice to just be away from my phone be away from sound and noise and just relax I'm actually taking this on as sort of a challenge to myself I mean I enjoy spending time by myself um, I like to think I know myself very well and I'm comfortable just being alone but this will be the true test to see how comfortable am I being alone Right, guys so I have arrived I'm about to head in this is what the building sort of looks like it's very close to the airport here in Rhode Island so it's not too far from me but I'm about to go in and I'll see what I can you know capture to share with you guys If you touch your face mm -hmm. and you get salt in yeah. your eyes, that's fresh water. Just spray, just sit up, spray your face. Okay. You know, I've been floating for a year and I still do it. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, sweet. Wow. So that will stay in there with you. Okay. All right, guys, so here's the room. I was getting a little instruction on how to use this as the pod that I'm going into. Um, I'm going to go into the shower first to rinse off. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this.
tell you guys my experience is done it was so amazing like right now I feel so like happy and giddy and just in the best mood it took me a little while to get into it I initially went in they have these like flotational like noodles and like a neck board if you don't want to just get right in so initially I used the neck board just to kind of support like I was saying support my head but after a few minutes I was like this is silly why am I going to use this when I'm supposed to be able to float so I took it off I turned the lights out I did no music I just really allowed myself to trust in the process and relax and float and you know in that time of being in there I had a few little revelations the main thing I got out of this is that I need to come to God the same way I came to this float experience. When I'm dealing with a lot of things and I'm feeling a lot of pressure and stress, I need to come excited and expecting and trusting the process. The other thing I got out of this experience is that this is almost like a rebirth type of experience. Like I can reinvent myself every time I go in that room, I get in that pod, I float around like I'm in, the, in my mother's womb and I can release anything that's been troubling me or bothering me and I can come out completely renewed and refreshed with a new attitude and renewed purpose. And I know you might not think it's that deep, but that's just what I'm feeling. So would I recommend floating? I would highly recommend it. I mean, it's an added expense, but I think as you get to a certain point in your life, your happiness, your wellness and your well-being is priceless. I spend money on massage, I spend money on travel, um, I spend money on other things that bring me joy and happiness, and I feel like this is something that I will probably be incorporating on a regular basis, not a weekly or monthly necessarily, but a regular basis. I feel like when my battery is run down and I'm stressed out and I've just been through a lot, this will be the perfect experience to just kind of renew my energy and my perspective. So yeah, I enjoyed it.